exactly. Um, do you want to tell me about how you got involved in the project and what made you uh, attracted to it? I just kind of saw the script and I thought it was really interesting. It, it's just about this character I really relate to as a person. She's just this awkward person. Um, and I really, I, I like that compared to a lot of other projects that I've done. Um, and I just felt really like, I like her a lot, I think. It was yeah. kind of like a cathartic thing for you yeah, to represent so. yeah, a yeah. character that maybe doesn't get explored on screen so, yeah, so often? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Cool. And what was it like? I know you were you did um, the voice in Despicable Me. So what what was it like transitioning to a live action? Um, I mean, I've I've done a few other live action stuff before, um, not really as a main character though. But it was really different coming on to set every day in this like much different environment with just like everyone that I love and stuff. And you know, um, compared to like being in a room alone. Um, or not alone, but like, you know, in this room, just sure. reading off the script. Um, and it was a really nice transition, actually, yeah. I like it a lot, yeah. And uh, what what do you hope this movie will um, mean for other young girls or boys or eighth graders out there in the world? <laughs> um, I just hope it shows people that, like, they're not alone in their experiences, even though it completely feels like you are. Um, and just, like, you know, like, this is a feeling that is shared not just amongst the age group, but like amongst uh, like everyone who was a, you know, everyone who was a teenager.